Hi, my name is Diane Schuster, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to get your Cozy Rock license key when your server cannot access the Cozy Rock license server. Typically, this is because your server sits behind a firewall, but there could be other reasons. Some of the steps I'm going to show you need to be done on your production server, and some need to be done from a different workstation that has internet access. So I'm going to start with the steps on the production server. And then in the middle, we will go to the machine that has internet access, and then we'll come back to finish up on the production server. So we go to Start, and then All Apps, and then Cozy Rock SSIS Plus, and then I click on License. If you don't see the License application in the Start menu, it means that your SSIS Plus library isn't properly installed, and you're going to have to reinstall the library if you've installed it in the past, then you need to uninstall it first. And here's the machine identifier. You'll need to copy it so you can use it in a moment. You'll need to perform the following instructions from a machine that has internet access. Go to the Cozy Rock license page, which I show right here. Now I'll scroll down, and down here you can see a section on how to request a license key if your server sits behind a firewall. And here's a link to a license request page, and we're going to follow that link right now. As you can see, here is where we need that machine identifier from the production server. And then I'll type in my licensee identifier, which happens to be my name. And I'll show you what licensee identifiers look like in a moment, so that it's easier for you to find yours. And I click on Get License. I just click on Save, so it'll save it in the Download folder. Now go to that folder, and there you can see we have a license.dat file now. This is the file you need to copy over to your production machine so you can complete the process. So now we're going to move back over to uh, steps that you need to take on the production server to deploy your license key. And now we're back at the production server, and we go back to the Cozy Rock license application. And I just click on this button here, which means deploy license key file. And now you can browse to where you put your license.dat file on the production server. The application has put the licensee name there, and then in parentheses is the licensee identifier, which is what I typed in. It's hard to tell the difference here since they're both the same. But I want you to understand that you only need to type in the licensee identifier and not the licensee name. And as you can see, it shows the expiration date right there. If there are any issues, the application will show the errors on the bottom. I promised earlier that I would show you what licensee identifiers look like, so I'm going to do that right now. If you purchased an Ultimate subscription via PayPal, then PayPal has provided you with a subscription number, and that's the number that you will use as the licensee identifier. And here's what one of those looks like. If you purchased a perpetual license, or you made your purchase using a purchase order, then you'll be given a licensee identifier by the Cozy Rock staff. And that consists of words and sometimes numbers. Now I'm going to show you an error that you might see when you try to open the Cozy Rock license application. You'll get this error message if your SQL Server is not properly licensed or installed. You need to correct your SQL Server installation or get a valid license key for SQL Server, and then you should be good to go. If you're running an evaluation copy of SQL Server, you can still test the Cozy Rock components by kicking off your packages manually. You just can't get a license and you can't kick off your packages using the SQL Job Agent. We have a web page that provides a lot of information about getting your license key. And if you scroll down, you'll find a section about this error that provides more information. To ensure that you can execute packages under the SQL Job Agent, make sure you give explicit read-write permissions to the license.dat file for the user account used to execute packages under the SQL Job Agent. Using the administrative account is not enough because on certain operating systems, the permissions are limited by default. The checkbox for the read-write permission has to be solid black on the permissions page for the license.dat file. If the checkbox is kind of a grayish color, then the permissions from the parent folder will apply. In that case, you need to go in and convert the inherited permissions into explicit permissions. After the permissions are given, the SQL Job Agent service must be restarted. 
In order to ensure that you can execute packages successfully, you should carefully review the instructions on the license instructions page. It describes additional permissions you may need to set up. If you have an ultimate subscription, then you will need to renew your license key annually. And since your server can't access the Cozy Rock license server directly, you will need to manually update the license key each year. And of course, you'll do that in the same way that I demonstrated earlier in this video. If you paid using PayPal, then PayPal will automatically try to renew your subscription for you. If the payment method you used in the past is no longer valid and your payment fails, then you'll need to go into your PayPal account and update the payment information associated with your subscription. Updating your profile payment information is not enough. PayPal automatically retries three times before giving up. Cozy Rock cannot update your payment method for you, nor do we have any control over PayPal's behavior. And that concludes this video.